Good day everyone! Today is the continuation of our Science Grade 6 module in Quarter 1, Module Number 2, Lesson 3, Separating Mixtures Through Decantation. But before that, I would like you to request to have a subscription to my YouTube channel by simply clicking the subscribe button as well as the notification button. Thank you so much! anything else we would like to give credits to the management team of the module particularly to the department of education headed of course by the secretary madame lenore magtolis briones also to the under secretary sir Justado m san antonio to the authors mam nancy c n torres mam judy c villanueva mam jamaica b barsenal and sir julimar d lestimoso to the editor reviewers illustrators layout artist graphic artist management team Thank you so much for making this module so that everybody, every learners in the entire Philippines can learn the subject. This module is all about separating mixtures through decantation. So after going through this module, you are expected to be able to separate mixtures through decantation. So pagkatapos nating matutunan ang module na ito, ay alam nyo na paano ba mag-separate ng module sa pamamagitan ng process na tinatawag nating decantation. But before that, we'd like to check first what you have learned in our past lesson. Isulat nyo ang P kung ang mixture ay pwede nating separate sa pamamagitan ng pag-pick out. Letter E kung sa pamamagitan ng evaporation. Letter F kung sa pamamagitan ng filtration. Letter D naman for decantation. At letter M for magnet. So, gawin nyo yan gamit ang inyong science notebook. Number one, fruit salad. Number two, mixture of water and salt. Number three, coconut milk. Number four, sea water. Five, water and sand. Six, sand and nail. Seven, rice grain and stone. Eight, water and sugar. Nine, baking powder and water. Ten, pebbles, mango seeds, and rice grain. So, maraming paraan kung paano natin separate ang components ng iba't ibang mixtures. Yung mga heterogeneous mixtures ay separate natin sa pamamagitan ng physical manipulation. Hal samantala naman, yung undissolved solid in liquid can be separated by filtration, components of suspension can be separated by decantation, and so on and so forth. So, ito ay nangangahulugan na magdedepende tayo kung anong method ang gagamitin natin sa type ng mixture na ating separate. So, hindi lahat na pagkakataon ay puro filtration ang gagamitin natin, puro decantation ang gagamitin natin sapagkat magdedepende tayo kung anong klase ng mixture meron tayo para ma-separate sila. So, yun. Now, we are going to observe the following pictures and we were going to find out how mixtures are being separated. So, for picture number one, we have a mixture of oil and water. So, titingnan natin kung pinaghalo natin si oil at si water, ano ba ang nangyayari sa kanila? And for picture number two, the clear water and the muddy water. Pag pinaghalo natin yung clear na water at yung water na medyo muddy, so ano kaya ang mangyayari sa kanila? So, we will be observing that. So another example sa makikita natin, glass rod help in decanting. So gumagamit ng glass rod yung panghalo na pa na glass para, para sa process ng decantation. At ang pangalawang picture naman, yung water at ang pebble. So titingnan natin ngayon kung paano ba sineparate yung mga mixture sa pamamagitan ng dalawang picture na ating tinitingnan. Now, what is decantation? It is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a dense one. So, pag sinabi natin less dense substance, ito sila yung mga substance na nagfo-float sa water. Ibig sabihin, nandoon sila sa ibabaw ni water. At itong mga dense naman na mga substance, ito sila yung mga substance or mga materials na nagsisink sa water, na lumulubog sa water. So, pag sinabi natin less dense, uh, nagfo-float sa water at ang dense 
Then substance naman, sila yung nagsisink sa water. Ngayon, isa siyang technique, ang decantation ay naging technique para ma-separate natin yung nag-float sa water compare sa nagsisink sa water. So in the process of decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. So yung mixture natin ay hindi natin din disturb. So walang nangyayari sa kanila. When the components are separated, the less dense substance could be removed by scooping using a spoon or it can be removed by slowly pouring out the dense lens substance. Some of the mixtures that can be separated by decantation are the following. So, ito yung mga mixtures na pwede natin ma-separate sa pamamagitan ng decantation. Number one, oil in water. So, pag natingnan natin, pag naghalo ang oil at ang water, nakikita natin na humihiwalay directly si oil. So, ma-separate natin si oil automatically sa pamamagitan ng pag-pour nito or kukunin natin siya sa pamamagitan ng kutsara. So, hindi na natin siya uh, idadaan sa maraming proseso. Agad-agad ay mahihiwalay na natin sila. Pangalawa, gasoline in water. Automatically, the gasoline will float in water. Sinigang with floating fats and mud and water. So, ito yung mga iba't ibang mixture na ma-separate natin using ang decantation. Now, on our activity, you have to write true kung sa tingin nyo ang statement ay tama at isulat nyo ang false kung sa tingin nyo ang statement ay mali. Number one, decantation is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. So, decantation daw ay isang technique para ma-separate natin yung mga less dense at ang mga not less dense na mga substances. Number two, in the process of decantation, the mixture is less disturbed. So, sa process ng decantation, hindi masyado na de-disturb yung mixture. Number three, we use decantation method in separating the fruit salad mixture. So, gumagamit to tayo ng decantation method sa pamamagitan ng paghihiwalay ng mga sangkap ng ating fruit salad. Number four, oil in water could be removed using the decantation technique. So, yung oil daw na naghalo sa water ay pwede nating ma-remove sa pamamagitan ng decantation. At number five, decantation is used in removing oil or gasoline from an oil spill. So, ginagamit daw natin yung decantation sa pag-remove ng mga oil or mga gasolina sa, pam sa panahon na nagka-oil spill. Now, you have to study the following mixtures at sabihin nyo sa amin kung yes Kung namase-separate natin siya through decantation at sabihin nyo naman na no kung hindi natin siya pwedeng separate gamit ang decantation. Okay? Number one, gasoline in water. Number two, arroz caldo soup. Number three, spaghetti. Number four, sinigang with floating fats. Number five, ice cream. Number six, fruit salad. Number seven, oil in water. Number eight, lugaw. Number nine, batchoy. And number ten, tinolang manok. Again, sabihin nyo kung yes, kung pwede natin siyang ma-separate through decantation. At sabihin nyo naman na no, pag hindi natin sila pwedeng separate through the decantation technique. Now, you have to co copy and complete the paragraph by supplying the missing word in the blank. Example, I learned that decantation is a technique used in separating blank from a blank one. In the process of blank, the mixture is left undisturbed. When the blank, the less dense substance could be removed by scooping using a spoon or it can be removed by slowly blank. Now, para malaman nyo ang sagot, go back to your own module nandodoon ang ang sagot sa mga nauna nating napag-aralan. Ngayon, ay may ibibigay tayong situation sa inyo. You have to write your answer in your notebook. An oil spill is one of the environmental problems that occur in the bodies of water. So, pag sinabi natin oil spill, ito yung malawakang pag-spill pag ng mga oil or natakpan ng mga oil ang bodies of water. What method of separating mixtures can be used in order to solve this problem? Number two, how can you apply the decantation 
method in your everyday living o sa pamamagitan ng pagpagkabuhay natin dito sa mundo. Paano doon natin i-apply itong decantation? Halimbawa na lamang sa pagluluto. Okay, isulat ninyo ang inyong mga sagot sa inyong mga papel or notebook. I will be going to assess what you have learned in our lesson. You have to choose the correct answer in each number. So, isulat na lamang ninyo ang titik ng tamang sagot. Number one, which of the following mixtures can be separated using decantation method? So, alin dyan ang pwede nating ma-separate gamit ang decantation method? A. Sugar and milk. B. Water in oil. C. Mixed nuts. D. Vegetable salad with dressing. Number two, your mother asked you to cook dried fish for lunch and you accidentally mix the oil with water. What method will you use to separate the mixture? A. Decantation method. B. Magnetism. C. Evaporation. D. Filtering. For number three, which of the following techniques would be best used to separate soil and water? A. Filtration B. Distillation C. Decantation or D. Chromatography Number 4. This method is a technique used in separating a less substance from a denser one. A. Evaporation B. Decantation C. Picking D. All of the above Number 5. What will happen to the less dense substance of mixtures if you separate them using decantation method? A. It will evaporate. B. It will float up. C. It will remain the same. And D. It will become solid. Number 6. In the process of decantation, the mixture is left blank. Anong mangyayari sa mixture? A. Behind. B. Undisturbed. C. Removed. D. None of the above. Number 7. How can decantation method be useful to everyday life? A. It helps us to become more productive. B. It gives us satisfaction to our everyday living. C. It's just an ordinary technique. D. It helps us to make our everyday living more efficient and easier. Number 8. Is decantation method applicable to all types of mixtures? Magagamit ba natin ang decantation sa lahat ng klase ng mixtures? A. Yes. B. No. C. Maybe. D. Sometimes. For number 9 to number 10, magbigay kayo ng dalawang example ng mixtures na pwede nating ma-separate gamit ang decantation method. Para sa inyong karagdagang activity, explain how these mixtures can be separated through decantation method. So, may nakita tayong mixture dyan, a mixture of oil and water. Ngayon, explain niyo kung paano natin ito separate gamit ang decantation method.